Will there be tropical trouble in the Gulf of Mexico next week? Here is Invest 90L. So the Hurricane Center is investigating this area of low pressure that's responsible for bringing all of the rain of this week. So here's what's going to happen. You have the Invest here. You also have another area of low pressure that's in the Caribbean that's going to move into the Bay of Campeche this weekend. So the two of these we're going to have to watch very carefully this weekend. So what I'm going to show you is the European model and pay close attention what happens with both of these areas of low pressure. We know we have that cold front that's going to push the low south. This low by the time we get to Saturday morning is now in the Bay of Campeche. First of all, they're both very disorganized, so it's not that the two areas of low pressure are going to com combine per se, but what you're really seeing is that the moisture from both of these systems, the rain is going to come together and potentially create one area of low pressure as we head towards Sunday morning. So enjoy the weekend. You can see how clear we are, but you've got a lot going in the Gulf going on in the Gulf of Mexico on Sunday and then this drifts to the north and so what will happen on Tuesday? Well, first of all, we've got the rain potentially back, but could there be more than just rain moving in to southeast Texas? Let's look at another scenario here. This is the American model. Here's the invest. And so what I've done is I put on the spaghetti plots or the modeling now because it's just became an invest. What you're seeing is a wider range of what can happen. But the general story as we move throughout the weekend is here comes the front. It pushes the low to the south. And so what you're seeing is all of these are either moving due south, possibly off to the east or a little bit more uh, off to the southwest. But the front's going to stall this weekend. And so what will happen is it's going to start to slowly return as a uh, front. Notice what's happening with the modeling. Do you see how a few of these models are now starting to move back up to the north? And so it could move off to the south and then generally be pulled back up to the north. Is there any way this becomes a hurricane? Well, there's a 10% chance of that. And what this reminds me of, because we're in the heart of hurricane season, the waters in the Gulf of Mexico are incredibly warm. Uh, the wind shear is low, is that you get an Umberto uh, situation. What happened in, in 2007? I remember working Umberto and there was basically a 30 mile per hour circulation of just nothing and within 24 hours it was a 90 mile per hour hurricane moving into southeast Texas. The chance of this is small. It's just at 10% but again this is what we're going to be watching for this weekend. So what do you need to know? First of all enjoy the weekend. That front is going to move through. You have cool mornings dry air but Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and we're going to watch this for you. We're going to pay close attention to what happens in the Gulf of Mexico this weekend and keep you informed if there is any kind of tropical trouble in the Gulf of Mexico that you need to know about next week.